Today what we're working with is uh, an exhaust off of our Honda CB350 twin race bike here coming up for the ARMA 2017 season and we're just prepping this for a high temp ceramic coating and we're using Cerakote to be exact and uh, yeah we're, we're stripping this old paint off of this part and I'm just going to come up close so you can see it. So we just dropped into the machine here and uh, yeah we're going to use a 50 grit garnet to strip this uh, paint off of here and prep this for the Cerakote high temp ceramic and you can just see how big this machine is. Um, this is a behemoth, four LED light bars. This thing lights up like a Christmas tree. Um, so you can see we have high production blast gun, blast hoses. These are the slurry line here is a one inch slurry line on this machine. Um, you need about 40 CFM to run a machine like this. Uh, we have uh, feeding the machine on the back here a three quarter inch crow foot connector so that we get the proper CFM to run the machine. But hey, let's fire this bad boy up and uh, let you see how this machine runs and how quickly we can remove this paint off of this exhaust system. So stay tuned. Okay guys, back after drying and rinsing this part off, um, actually in the other order, rinsing and drying, um, what you can see here is a very, very clean part. Where wet blasting really excels um, is in these hard to reach pits and areas. This is where sand blasting really falls short um, in these deep little grooves and cuts nooks and crannies that you have in here. With wet blasting it really flows across that surface and gets in those deep tight spaces. But you can see how clean this part is. Uh, this is probably a little bit rougher than you're going to want uh, for, for these types of ceramic coatings. Um, however, this is a set of exhaust for a race bike so we're not looking for show winning quality here. Um, we were really concerned about ripping this coating off so that we have good anchoring profile and good adhesion um, so that there are no coatings here to interfere with that. So again this is a very aggressive process with garnet. The most aggressive you're going to have in a wet blasting system. However it works. It works very fast and it works very well for applications such as this. Again if you're processing ferrous metals like we just did today um, it's best that you run a closed loop rinsing system um, so that's going to be one of the uh, fully loaded models that we have, one of the elite machines. 
Um, that way you can add a rust preventative, especially on larger parts such as this. You can imagine blasting one end and then moving to the other. By the time you get over here to this side, this part could be rusty. Uh, it could flash rust on you, which is not good if you're going to be coating this part afterwards. It could wreak havoc to the piece later on in life. Um, but again, yeah, add rust preventative to the machine. If you're running the closed loop rinsing system, which we have on the 4000 here, um, that's going to allow you to basically just refeed that water and rust preventative mix um, back into the machine when you're rinsing the parts. So you're not actually losing that water and that rust preventative. Again, a closed loop rinsing system is recycling the water and putting it back into the machine via the rinse off nozzle and the window spray feature that's lubricating the wiper on this machine. So again, we're just recycling the water. This machine holds about 40 to 45 gallons of water at all times. And uh, great for large items such as this. So if you run a big time professional shop and you need big time results really quick, um, this is the, the process and the machine for you. Hope you guys like this. Stay tuned for more videos. Please feel free to like, subscribe, comment. Uh, we'll get back with your, your questions. Thanks for watching.